Okay, hi, my name's Alex. I'm from Immediate Symbols in the UK here, and uh, we've got our little range here. I'm going to show you some of the things that we've got. Traditional handmade symbols in the in old traditional way, going back from 300 years. We're kind of bringing the old school back into the new school sort of era, and uh, we're trying to give a little bit of choice for everybody that's out there, amongst all the other brands that are there as well. So just come with me a second, have a quick look. We've got things like the D-Rock series here, which are nice, like crisp sort of hats. And they have a really, really nice crisp and light effect as well. Then we've got, again, the old school series, which are a little bit darker. They've got a nice dark lay finish as well there with a nice, like, a chocolate cappuccino brown sort of finish as well. And then you've got sort of the lighter things with all our splashes, like we've got the Fusion range here. Lovely light little splashes there. And then the Dervish range, which are the unlaid versions. Give you a slightly darker, uh, darker sound as well, and we've got everything in between. We've got the Vigor Rock Shiny series here as well, which is for your kind of more rocky sort of outfits. You know, you're only going to give it the old kind of rock thing going on, yeah. And then we come across, we've got our Chinese here as well. Um, and what you may see with the Chinese is that we do an inverted bell. We can get the Chinese in a regular bell as well, but the beauty we find with the inverted bell is that the China symbol sits comfortably on the stand. What we found sometimes, not everybody, but some people have Chinas and we play them upside down and we screw them down too tightly, it can choke the cymbal, it can cause damage, it can have effect. And hey, you're choking the sound, which is what it's there for. So we found with the inverted bell, it hangs a lot more freely, it protects the cymbal, but the most important thing, it really has that natural tone of what it's designed for. And as we go down here again, we've got a variety of different crashes, different rides. Apologise, we've got a few missing. We've had a really great weekend, really busy. People have been buying them left, right and centre. And we're, as soon as we're putting them on there, they're disappearing out through the doors. We've got a unique finishes like the antique crash here as well, with a very kind of brushed sort of metal finish as well. Again, we're trying to provide visual sonic sounds a little bit different and, uh, you know, sorry, uh, audible sounds, I do apologise, and again, a visual element to it as well. We've got things that look a little bit like other brands and that's going to happen, but we also try and make things look a little bit different. Again, like we have tourist friends here. It's a lathe and you've got a fine lathe on the bell and a slightly broader um, broader lathe there on the on the bow. And then we go to the natural finish, rather like the uh, the Galatas or the uh, the old school there. So again, try and give somebody a little bit a little bit something different. I can't find the hole there, I'll get that to that later. And again we've got um, a new range, so it's not exclusively new but it's new to the UK this year we've got the sandblasted range which again they, they provide a lovely sweet sound but the the kind of the the, the um the, the restrict and control the overtones as well and we've got the so the beautiful sweet symbol but as you can see it decays very very quickly great in the studios for when you're trying to control the sounds and keep the limitations there and of course we've got the good old holy symbols you know uh, with the OFX FX concept Again, that nice little trashy sound, a little bit trashy, a bit dirtier, um, just to mix the sounds up in your playing. And again, we're going across here, we've got classics, we've got Vigor Rock, we've got, I have to confess, my favourite ride symbol that we do. I'm a bit of a rocker, old school rocker. Um, I love the Vigor Rock shiny ride here that we've got. It's got a beautiful polished bow and, uh, and the uh, surface of the symbol. It's got a, an absolutely fantastic little glassy pingy response. But the piece de resistance is the bell. Such a cutting bright bell. Again, for an old rocker like me who really wants to give it the old Tommy Aldridge or the Nico McBray, it's right in there with the bell. And again, visually it looks absolutely beautiful. A mirrored polished finish, the good glassy sound and hey, that's where we are. We're a media, we're, you know, we're not new kids on the block, we've been around for quite a number of years, we're now spreading our wings across all of the world, we're in America, we're here in the UK, we're in Japan, we're in Holland, we're in Scandinavia, and we just seem to be cropping up everywhere, you know, there are other brands available, of course, but we're here as well just trying to give you something a little bit different, and, you know, we're, people are coming here and they're enjoying what they're seeing, that's it.